Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at the quarter staffs. I know we have a little overview coming out for you guys right here um, with the quarter staffs. Uh, we have six different quarter staffs that we're going to be looking at. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at the Destiny board. Do remember this is a new account so my uh, Destiny board looks very empty for a good reason. Um, but my quarter staffs right now is at actually 19 mastery which is pretty dang low. Um, but these are the quarter staffs you're going to have available. You're going to have the Adepts quarter staff, you're going to have the Adepts iron clad staff, and then you're going to have the double bladed staff, the black monk staff, the soul scythe, and then the staff of balance. Um, what you're going to notice is I actually only have experience in the artifact staff on this account, so I actually don't have anything in the other three slots as of now. Um, but I know. A good chunk about every single staff there's certain staffs that just aren't really used right now and that would be the black monk staff and the uh, staff of balance you really just don't see those two staffs used about anywhere um, but we're gonna go over each staff now while wow, we got them all in our inventory um, we'll start out with the staff of balance so in previous uh, game or previous versions of the overviews you've guys seen bows daggers um, curse staffs. You guys seen three, I think, so far. Um, this will be the fourth. And in this installment, you're going to know, uh, starting out, that the Qs, Ws, and the passives are all going to be the same uh, throughout all of them. Um, the artifacts will have, or yeah, certain staffs like the artifacts will have, you know, a few more. You know, like right here, we got the forceful swing. And if you go to the quarter staff, you actually don't have that option available. That's based on the artifact uh, giving you that opportunity earlier. So with like a quarter staff, you might need tier five or tier six to get that forceful swing. So that is the only thing that you know notice here as we get started. So right here, you're gonna notice that we have the staff of balance first, um, and then we're gonna have the concussive blow or the cartwheel to choose from. Both of these are actually very good abilities. The concussive blow, uh, you deal 185 damage to the target and slow them slightly for a few seconds. This effect stacks up, and after collecting a third charge, you'll actually stun them, consuming all the charges. Um, very strong to continually use that ability and get slows and stunts. Uh, then you have the cartwheel, which also is a very strong ability. Um, this one leaps forward, dealing 158 damage to, not really leaps, you know, cartwheels forward, dealing 158 damage to all enemies hit, knocking them back a short distance and interrupting spell casts. If you take damage during the cartwheel, you move, your move speed is increased by 30%. Can't talk. And your resistance is by 53 for 5 seconds. So it's very strong, makes you a little bit tankier. Um, so if you're trying to be a little bit of a tank, that would be the option for you. If you're trying to get up in their face and it's maybe 2v2 Hellgates and you want to keep them stunned or slowed or CC locked in general, you're going to want to use the concussive blow. Um, then we're going to be on the W, and the W is going to be the Empowered Slam, which deals 325 physical damage in 3 meter radius. Uh, so it's a little AoE damage ability for, you know, if you're doing dungeons. Uh, then you have the Stun Run, which uh, you guys probably seen in my previous episode um, of the Zero to Hero. In episode 5, you saw that I used the stun run in the 2v2 Hellgates. Um, it increases your move speed by 30% for 5 seconds, and your next auto attack will stun the enemy for 2.5 seconds. Uh, and then we have the Heavy Cleave, which is basically the same sort of deal of the Empowered Slam. Uh, just a little bit less damage, and if you're going to actually see, it does uh, less energy cost on the Empowered Slam. And if you look at the Heavy Cleave, the cooldown is going to be a lot longer as well. Uh, and then we have the separator, and this is going to be the special ability, so we'll actually skip past it for now, and we'll go to the passives. The passives are going to be the stunning strike. Every five normal attacks, your attack stuns the enemy, um, and it, you know, for .51 seconds, so not very long, but it's going to all add up after you keep them stun locked. It's going to add up having all these extra little stuns in there. Um, and then you're going to have the energetic, which every normal attack you restore three energy, and the life leech, every normal attack you restore nine health. So that is going to be kind of an overview of all of the options you have in the middle. Um, we'll actually switch it out real quick for the Soul Scythe just so we can see the other option that pops up. Um, the Forceful Swing hits an enemy in a 6 meter radius around the caster, knocking them 6 meters away, reduces their numbs their arms. Uh, the numbed arm effect basically makes you do less damage. Attack against, or here we go, against players unable to do normal attacks for 8 seconds. So Right there, they can literally not normal attack for 8 seconds, which is actually a pretty strong ability if you're looking at 2v2s or 5v5 Hellgates, possibly. Uh, depending on the character, it can be a pretty strong ability. 
Um, and then against mobs, it just reduces the normal attack speed by 50% for 8 seconds. Uh, so that could also be a decent pick um, if you're trying to be a tank in dungeons for lower tiers. Forceful Swing may be the right option for you. Um, but we will now check the last passive that came out. Um, in this passive, every four normal attacks, your crowd control effects are increased by 35% for two seconds. Uh, that's going to be a big chunk there, but you're going to want to make sure you actually time it right with your uh, your Dread Laden fighting. I haven't ever tried to actually pronounce that, but with that fighting, you're going to basically want to make sure you use it, uh, your crowd control abilities at the right time, or you're going to mess up your passive and pretty much have no reason to actually take this passive. So it's it is a strong passive though if you if you time everything correctly. Um, definitely if you chain it with your hunter shoes speed buff 35% CC duration increase. Um, I believe it stacks and you're gonna have a lot of increased CC duration. So since we just actually did put the soul scythe on, we'll start with the soul scythe E or the special ability for the soul scythe. Uh, the special E is going to be a tornado. It creates a tornado and shoots it in a chosen direction. Enemies hit by the tornado will receive 428 damage and be pulled into the air for four, uh, two seconds. This ignores crowd control resistance and duration. When enemies are in proximity of the tornado, they will be slowed by 8%, or 80%. So I'm going to show you guys this real quick. This is going to be the tornado. And it actually has a very big, um, what do you call it? It has a very big range I'm trying to think of the right word here hitbox the hitbox on the tornado is very big so you actually you know can get away with missing sometimes and you'll still hit because it's that big of an AOE um, ability so now we got the mystic rocks a rock shield covers you for up to 15 seconds while active your resistances are increased by 29 but you are immune to healing additionally a six meter radius area of floating rocks surrounds you slowing enemies by 50% and reducing their healing recede by 30% this is the Adept Staff of Balance. Um, you know, not many people use this. There might be a place for it somewhere. Uh, I just haven't found it yet. And that's probably because I'm kind of, you know, getting into the swing of things with quarter staffs. I'll probably find a build for it shortly or soon enough. But it's just not really the strongest one right now. So we'll take that one off and we'll zoom on over to the quarter staff. The quarter staff, the basic quarter staff, um, has the separator, which directly attacks a single enemy who becomes rooted for 4.52 seconds and takes 352 physical damage. Any other enemies in a 5 meter radius will be knocked back in the air for 0.9 seconds. So basically another single target kind of stun. Um, it's going to be very strong as well with all of these abilities that you can kind of attach with it if you go the concussion, uh, concussive blow. Um, and then you go to the stun run, and then you go the stunning strike. You are literally taking four abilities that have the potential of stunning, um, and that's going to be just really, really strong. Obviously, they're all single target stuns or would be overpowered, but you know people already make the case that quarter staffs may need a little bit of, t uh, you know, maybe a nerf. I disagree because I love them, but you know that might be a little biased. So we'll move on now to the black monk staff. The black monk staff, uh, the E on this one is going to be. Throw your weapon to a ground target location. Keep channeling to keep weapon spinning in that position. Dealing 64 physical damage every 0.5 seconds in a 5 meter radius. Each hit also reduces target's move speed by 8% and damage by 22%. Uh, that is against players and then, you know, 10% by mobs and, you know, that's going to be a little bit less. But it stacks up to 4 times so you can really do a lot of reduction, damage reduction here and some speed, uh, movement speed. So... If you look at that, it's actually very easy to get a lot of mobs in the area, and that's going to make you a little bit tankier as well if you if you want to go this. Um, and it's, what's nice about the Black Monk Staff is obviously it's going to level your artifact bo or artifact um, quarter staffs. So if you're looking to run the Soul Scythe build at some point, you know you can run a Black Monk Staff or even a Staff of Balance because it's a lot cheaper if you're looking to run cheap dungeons. So. Uh, we'll get now into the Adept's uh, Double Bladed Staff. The Double Bladed Staff is going to have a charge. Um, this charges toward an area, dealing 187 damage to all enemies in a 6 meter radius on impact. Damage enemies will be slowed by 50% for 3.51 seconds. And you're going to see, you guys have probably seen this in a ganking session before because it's such a popular you know, way to gank is with the quarter staffs. There's so many, you know, a lot of stuns with them really, so... These are all potential ganking, uh, you know, ganking weapons. Uh, we'll look at the Ironclad Staff. Now, the Ironclad Staff is going to have a interesting E ability. It's going to be the Hurricane. The Hurricane spins around for, you know, up to four seconds 
hitting enemies in a five meter radius, five meter radius, dealing 75 damage every 0.5 seconds. Against the enemy players, it knocks them 0.588 meters away, and against the creatures, it interrupts spell casting. I know this is a strong, a lot of people love going ironclad in maybe even 5v5 hellgates or bigger groups of players because you knocking players around with the whirlwind is just very, very strong. You can mess people up. Uh, you can, you know, take them out of the fight. Very strong um, ironclad staff as well. So all of these staffs actually have a place besides maybe not the staff of balance and maybe the black monk staff. If you guys have a, you know, a place where you like to use all of these staffs that I don't know about, Maybe there's somewhere that you know I don't I don't think about where you could use them. Let me know where you use your unique quarter staff. I love quarter staff, so I'm I'm liking that I got into them a little bit here, um, and I definitely love my uh, soul scythe the most at the current moment in time because that tornado is just disgusting. But uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and remember you can add me in Albion Online on my new account. I have 18 friends. This is just all of you guys that have added me in the past videos. Um, if you guys want to add me, Graphic Live um, on, in Albion, add me up and I'll add you back. I may not respond to messages in game nearly as often as I would like to, but um, thanks for adding me and thanks for you know giving me the time in the Discord, asking questions, uh, comments in the YouTube comments below, and subscribing for future videos and liking them videos. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.